G'day people, Paul here from Pinnacle English Learn. Today I had a quick chat with Deborah, one of our expert IELTS teachers, about what it's like to actually deliver the IELTS course online. Watch the video, hopefully it'll give you a bit of insight into what it's like from a student's perspective. And uh, if you do have any questions, don't forget to hit us up. Enjoy. My name is Deborah, and I'm an IELTS teacher for Pinnacle English. Well, that depends on where, they, where they're at and what they need to achieve in the IELTS exam. So the first thing they would need to do is a placement test so I can see their level and then after that we do a study plan as to how many weeks they will need. For, for the majority of the students, if not all of them, writing is definitely the number one skill that they need to work on. And that's usually because they don't do it much in English. They don't get to write much in English the way they would get to speak. And some of them say they don't even write in their own language. The, the lessons uh, will work, it depends again on what the student needs to achieve, where maybe their main weaknesses are as well. So, um, and then, so it depends on the student in that aspect, but then also to go through the test and how to do the test, what's expected. With writing and what to teach in writing definitely depends on the student. So it's not only to let them know what to expect in the test, but working on what their weakness is. So maybe some students don't know how to get the right ideas or to get enough ideas. So we'll brainstorm how to do that for the essay writing. And then other students might find academic task one challenging. So we'll go through all the different types and maybe focus on their weakest ones. And then, um, also with task one, it might be what kind of language they need for certain writing tasks and we'll focus on that. So it definitely depends on the student um, as well as looking at what to do in the exam. So giving writing feedback generally is very different to giving IELTS writing feedback. So as a teacher, I would look at the writing four different times in four different ways and each way focuses on the IELTS examining criteria and so I give feedback specific to each criteria so it's task achievement, coherence, cohesion, um, lexical resource which is vocab and grammar range and accuracy. So I give a mark for each one where their weaknesses are, if there are any systematic errors coming up and then focus on how to improve the band in each criteria so with each writing task they do and over time and over lessons and practice they generally can improve on where their weakest spots are. I'll give an indicative band for each criteria so generally how an IELTS examiner would look at it and what they may expect to get from an examiner. Well, we, if, without an online placement test, um, it's hard to know where their strengths and weaknesses are because there are four skills in the IELTS exam. Students will be generally strong in one and not in the other. And so the placement test quickly determines where their weaknesses are or where the holes are. And then we start the lessons based on that. And then also it will determine how many lessons they need Yeah, so the placement test will help design, help us to design the study plan, the amount of lessons, the type of um, homework I will need to give them to, to improve on where their weak spots are and so forth. Okay, so the main difference between IELTS general and IELTS academic is in the reading and in the writing. So. IELTS Academic, the reading is um, more complicated and in IELTS Writing, the Task 1 is completely different. So Task 1 General is a letter, 
task, one academic, is uh, some kind of graph. Um, I would say academic is definitely more difficult than general, especially in task one writing. Yeah, so I, between IELTS academic and general, the speaking and the listening is the same. So that would depend on their visa requirement, what course they need to do, uh, what job they need to do. It depends on a lot of things. Also maybe what their agent advises them. So some external reasons is gonna determine what uh, type of IELTS exam they need and what band they need. So cramming for an IELTS exam does not work. It never works. It, I don't care how confident you think you are in English, it will not work. So, um, and it's obvious also, you know, to the examiners if, if a student has tried to do that, I think. So um, no matter what your English level is or how confident you think, it's essentially you're learning a language and you're developing skills in a language and the more time you have to do that, the better. So, you know, I, I suggest months, not weeks, um, before an IELTS test, even if the lessons are spaced out, that's okay, but not to do it within a few weeks. It's too stressful and you won't improve um, the way you probably might need to. So for IELTS training, I would always re recommend one and a half hour lessons, uh, generally because to go through the skills properly takes time. And in the one and a half hour lessons, there's opportunity to do at, at least two of the skills. Otherwise, a one hour lesson is just not enough time to go through things properly. So there you have it, folks. That was Deborah, one of our expert IELTS teachers for Pinnacle English Learn. Uh, look, I'm really proud of not only what she's doing, but what we're all doing to deliver some really effective, productive IELTS training sessions online. If you have any questions, hit us up. Check us out at pinnaclenglishlearn.com and uh, I'll see you around online, hopefully sometime soon. Bye for now.